everyone, it's John and Becky here from Parks Travel Guide and today we're in Marmaris. That's right, we're doing one of the things that you should do when you're in Marmaris and we are taking a day long trip to Dalian to go to the mud baths, go to Turtle Beach and see what there is to do there. Apparently it's very popular and we're getting on one of, in my opinion, the nicest boats in Marmaris called Barkash. So we're super excited, we think it's going to be a fabulous day. We booked this through Maras Tours who we always use. This trip costs £20 per person which to be honest for everything including all your entrance fees is a bonus. You get picked up and dropped off from the hotel. The only thing you do have to buy on board is your soft drinks and well any drinks really but you do get your lunch included. So let's have a look around the boat and see what it's like. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Lunch to Thank you, have a nice day. So we've got this, the boat dog as well, which is like a golden retriever. So you come on board and you get these lunch tickets. I believe it's right, so chicken lunch tickets. We weren't offered any other choice. Yeah, that corner. There's a good range of looks like a good range of beers and ciders and everything. I'm not sure how much it is, but we'll be finding out later. Steam for these. So I remember this boat, I'm sure, on a night it did Dal uh, Dalian and then it turned into like a party boat on a night because this go light is still there. Right up to the top deck, the sun deck. Let's see what's up here. Do you want to slash it? I so it looks like plenty of sunbeds, yeah, plenty yeah, of places yeah, to sit. Yeah. But it's quite packed in, quite densely. Good morning! Come to Barkas for holiday. It's worth mentioning that you can't bring any of your own food or drink on board. Having said this, the boat offers a wide selection of food, drinks and snacks for everybody and at a reasonable price. They offer a wide selection of cocktails, beers, wines, spirits and soft drinks and even have speciality coffees. So we're an hour and 10 minutes into the journey and now we've stopped for 30 minutes for a swim. It's very early, I think this is going to be cold so I think I'm going to regret my decision as soon as I get in. After a short swim stop, it was time to get back on the boat and enjoy an iced latte before lunch was served at 11.30. Lunch consisted of breaded chicken served with tomato, pasta, salad and a crusty bread roll. If this still wasn't enough for you, you could add on a portion of chips for just 30 lira. After everybody had been fed and watered on board, the crew started getting Barkas ready to dock at the place that she'd stay for the next four hours. Everybody on board gets off Barkas and gets onto smaller boats that are more suited to going down the Koishagiz River. The first stop will be Turtle Beach and then onwards towards Dalian. Each boat also sells soft drinks, pomegranate juice, snacks and souvenirs as well. Okay, so we've just got off the boat and we are just walking up to the area of Turtle Beach. Maybe we might see some turtles, who knows? Uh, so we've been told that we're going to get an hour here, so we've been told we have to be back at the boat by 1.45. So yeah, let's explore, see what we can find. <laughs> So the beach that we're actually on here, Turtle Beach, is allegedly rated the 12th best beach in the world. So that it stretches across four kilometers. It's actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site, which is pretty cool. So there's just a barrier here. So it stretches all the way across and you can't sunbathe in this area. 
So this area here is for turtles. So little holes like this over here, this is where little baby turtles hatch from. If you've watched our Sri Lanka vlogs, you'll know how much we care about the turtles. And it's great to see a beach that is so keen on preserving the life of the turtles, providing them a safe space for somewhere for them to hatch. So it makes our day being here. One thing to be aware of, bring some good shoes because this sand is like stepping on lava. Hot. Kingston part of ancient Kaona city. Kaona city uh, ancient Kaona city wielded by Milata's son Kaonos. And this area around the 160 tombs. So the next stop now is the mud baths in Dalian and we have one hour here to uh, get caked in mud and apparently feel rejuvenated as you can see i've started lathering myself up so you just slap it all on apparently you then have to wait for 20 minutes for it to dry and then when it's dry you wipe it all off and apparently your skin is super soft afterwards and you feel rejuvenated so it's basically the opposite of having a bath <laughs> when we're in thailand and we're batting elephants and uh, yeah it's time to get it off because the skin's gone really crispy and hard are you feeling rejuvenated oh yeah very rejuvenated very smooth on site there's also a fish spa and another spa offering massages, treatments and Turkish baths from 10 euros to 40 euros we would recommend you have a Turkish bath at the start of your holiday as it prepares your skin after we'd been to the mud baths, it was time to head back to the boat to sail back to Marmaris. It took 45 minutes to get back and the boat was ready and waiting for us. The captain set sail and off we went back to the port of Marmaris. <laughs> the end of our trip and what a fantastic day that was it was we've been out at sea 10 hours and the day actually went by so so quick and it's honestly so much better than any other boat trips that we've been on purely because there was just so much to do wasn't there every time we stopped it was something different and a lot of boat trips are really repetitive usually you stop you swim you stop you swim and it just wasn't like that at all there was so much to see and we would definitely recommend it the staff on board were absolutely fantastic as well so thank you so much to each and every staff member that is on board Barkash because you've worked so hard and made it what it is and thank you very much from us to the, from the captain as well it's been absolutely fantastic yeah definitely so we hope you've enjoyed this vlog we hope that you found it really useful and just so you know we have not at all by any means been paid to say any of these lovely fabulous things that's right and uh, this is really from the heart we've all loved it please do do the dalian cruise if you come to marmaris also make sure you give us a like for this and also think about subscribing Make sure you check out the next vlog when we are going to Rhodes for the day. Until next time guys, we've been Becky and John from Parks Travel Guide. See you soon. Take care.